to other chief sustainability officers or even smaller companies that don't even have a sustainability person in their team. Um, how can they, you know, how can they sort of streamline this? They can't afford a third party consultancy or someone to come in and do the whole kind of mapping for them and the purpose, you know, yeah. what's your advice? Is it like, get going, start small, like, yeah. you know, yeah. work out what's I was going to say exactly, and you take the words right out of my mouth. I think, I th look, I don't think you need to have a sustainability, I mean, this is something which large companies in a sense have, um, have evolved into. Um, yeah. But, in many ways, the ownership sits with everyone. It doesn't, yes. if you're doing this right, it, you, you, the worry in some ways is having people like me often has gravitationally meant that people just assume that sustainability sits in a box in a corner. Yeah. And, and that, that obviates the responsibility for other pe people to take accountability or responsibility for doing the right thing, right? And it's not yeah. true. I mean, if you are an HR leader of a business, you don't need a sustainability person to tell you that you need to think about how you're going to build a more diverse and inclusive organization is going to be key to your future growth. You, you yeah. can work that one out for yourself. Now you Absolutely. have to think about what's the right way to do that. And, um, but you know, often people who are part of HR communities are also part of HR networks. And there's a lot you can learn from your peers and, and yeah. talking to others who are doing it. You don't necessarily yeah. have to hire a consultant um, to teach you the, uh, the ropes. So a lot of it starts with taking personal ownership and accountability for what you think needs to happen. Where it obviously, gets more difficult is when you're straddling across different pieces of the of the business and that's where the in many ways what we try and do is be a bit like the glue that holds it all together that's what the yeah. sustainability team is really doing is they're helping the business yeah. to, to look through the silos to break through the silos and look yeah. across and in many ways yeah. that the corporate communications people are telling the story across as well so this is the link it's the, you know you want to tell the entire story uh, our product brands will, you know, engage on one thing with a consumer, but collectively we tell the corporate story of record. And that's, that's essentially what we're trying to, to do is be the glue or join up all the dots, whichever analogy you want to have. But, you know, if you're a, a CFO or you, you know, you're looking at this, if you're a supply chain lead in a business, you, you can start looking at your upstream supply chains and saying, are we, working with the right co-packers are we working with the right raw material mm. suppliers can i figure out um, ways of working with them in ways that can improve not just our partnership but we can start to deal with some of the tough nut issues that we know we have to deal with otherwise you know i'm either going to help that's going to help me de-risk my business a bit you know I'm, I'm not going to get caught in a crossfire if something is happening up up at the top of my supply chain with uh, you know modern slavery or i've got some issues of environmental health and safety or something happens that's going to compromise um that 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 relationship um you don't you can do that and in fact you can initiate that fairly simply um and there are some simple steps for it but as i say um what what helps is if you have a ceo or a leader of the business that can also force those conversations to happen collectively. Um, it shouldn't just be, you know, one leader of an in, in, in one part of business that feels like this is their thing and they're going to champion it. You really need a CEO, I think, um, who can who can actually become the uh, the 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 person who, in a sense, drives that integration and creates that sense of shared ownership and and. Um, and the best way to try and deliver that is to agree two or three common targets. If you're in the, if you're trying to figure out what to do, um, start with some very simple actions that you can that you can all own together, um, yeah. and start there and hold yourself accountable for those two or three things happening. And you know what? That's that's enough to uh, to start the ball rolling.